My name is Zipper Brain, and today we are talking about the amazing pegs. First, what is a peg? So a peg is a transformation node. It means that it transforms stuff. So if I take a peg and put it on this drawing, I'm able to move this drawing, but the movement is only recorded on the peg. So if I unconnect the peg, the drawing goes back in place. So if I take this crown peg and I connect it with the BG, so now the BG is receiving the animation from this peg. And if I unconnect the crown, the crown goes back in place and the BG has it. So the animation information is only recorded on the transformation node. So transformation nodes are the green nodes. They include pegs, of course, but this family also contains nodes such as deformers, quad map, shake, quake, constraints, and probably more that I'm forgetting about. These nodes do not contain any visual information, which is why you cannot really attach them to a blue port. What you can do, however, is attach a peg to some parameter of an effect by copy-pasting what we call the function link, but that'll be for another video. <laughs> Additionally, some effects such as the turbulence, the color variety, and the motion blur also have a green port, which allow you to connect a peg to it, just like you've seen in the line building videos that were using pegs in turbulence node and a peg on a color variety node. Pegs also come in all different kinds of flavors. Usually in common harmony lingo, we tend to identify them as either separate or 3D path peg, and both of them are useful for different kind of purposes. In the position, you can choose to have your peg as a 3D path or as a separate peg. In a separate peg, your X, Y, and Z axis can be adjusted separately, which means that each parameter will get its own curve, or function, as we call them in harmony. With 3D path peg, however, your X, Y, and Z axis all share the same curve, or function, and what you can edit is the velocity, or speed. In general, separate pegs are meant for rigging, while 3D path is meant for trajectory, camera motion, and you've guessed it, path. So here's why. 3D path pegs are really cool because they allow you to shape trajectory without affecting your timing. And I'm gonna show you an example right here with my two little pegs. So I'm gonna make this little crown solo, that amazing background. So I'm gonna get my first frame, this here, last frame, place it there. So, so far, it's going from left and right. And if I want to make it follow this path, I will only have to click on the show control button right here. And now I'm gonna see my trajectory. If I want to edit that trajectory on a 3D path, it's very easy. You just have to place your cursor on the trajectory and then press one time. And I mean one time on that letter P on your keyboard. And this will create what I call a shape point. And you can move that shape point to curve your path. And then if you wanna go here, you can make another shape point and do something like that to create a very smooth path. And now if I make my animation play, it will follow the path. So you see, when I created my shape points on my trajectory, it didn't create any keyframe in my timeline, which means that I'll be able to edit the timing between my keyframes and not worry about these two points messing up my timing. So it's very great to make trajectory for cameras or for objects that move around, birds in the sky. There's a scene I'm gonna show you that comes from Tangled with lots of birds in it, and I'm pretty sure they use 3D path pegs to make their life easier. And this goes for left and right, but you can also do it with the top view to have your little object travel in space. However, if I want to try to do this on a separate peg, it's not going to work as well. I'm going to place that. Place it here, go here, go here. And then if I try to make it follow using the same technique, it's not going to work. Point, point. This is because I have a separate peg. So if I want to do the same, I will need to go and get my function editor and actually like play with these curves to get it to do what I want to do. But that will also be for another video. <laughs> However, if you are rigging, it is mandatory. Mandatory. I cannot stress this enough. That you have your peg be separate. This is because you need to have your parameters independent from one another if you want to use your rotation, translation, and z-axis separately, which is what you want in a rig. You want to rotate your arm and move it in space, because if you take your 3D path peg, everything is kind of glued together, which explains why if you try to put twins on your 3D peg animation, Harmony is going to give you this error message and be like, you know what, your animation might get screwed up because you use a 3D path peg instead of a separate peg while doing your rigging. And you need to make sure that your peg are in separate before you animate because once your animation is done, if you switch your 3D path peg to separate, you're going to lose everything and cry and regret all the choices you made in your rig. Which is why I always tell people to change their preference to prevent this from happening. So you can go in general and always make sure that this is checked. So this will make all your future pegs as separate. Which is great. And when you're done with the rig, always use Control A and this tool right here to make sure that all your pegs are in separate and your life should be fine. 
So as a reminder, 3D Path is amazing to do animations on path, such as camera, trajectory, or motion, and separate pegs are meant for rigging. And with that, have a nice week and have fun animating your little pegs! <laughs>